friends in the previous video we have already discussed basic accounting terms part 1 if you haven't watched that video please check it out link is in the description box let's start what are debtors person or business entity to whom the goods has been sold but money hasn't received yet and will receive it in future let's take an example first Let us assume that you have a shop named Mobile Ghar, and your friend Arav visit your shop to purchase mobile. He said to you, "Give me one mobile. I'll pay it to you once my salary is credited to my account." You were also like, "Okay, he'll give give money in future." So you gave him mobile, right? So now you will record this transaction in books of whom? Obviously, of Mobile Ghar, right? You are a business person. so you will record this transaction in your books okay so in books of mobile ghar ro will be recorded as debtor okay debtor is any person or business entity here that person is ro to whom you have sold the goods yes you have sold mobile to whom ro but have not received money right you haven't received money he will pay it to you once his salary is credited and he will pay it to you in future so debtor is any person or business entity to whom you have to sold the goods but have not received money and will receive it in future what are creditors creditor is a person or business entity from whom you have bought goods but you haven't paid them yet and will pay it in future let us understand through example when you visit your nearby grocery shop that shopkeeper knows you very well as you often visit his shop right so you said uh, you said to the shopkeeper please give me a cold drink my father will pay it to you at the month end he was also like okay take it did you pay the money no big no you said that what your father will pay it in month end right so here did he gave you cold drink right he gave you cold drink on what on a promise that you made that your father will pay it to him in future right your father will pay that money to him in future so when this shopkeeper shopkeeper will record this transaction in books of accounts he will record you as a creditor he won't record you right uh, by your name right he will record you as a creditor creditor is a person from whom you have bought goods but you haven't paid them money you will pay it in future now what are cost of goods sold the direct cost attributed to the production of goods or services let us understand through example you visit retail outlet to purchase shirt the shirt which you purchased is made up of fabric button threads sewing machine even electricity and labor has also been used while making the shirt right this all are direct cost as this cost has been incurred in making of shirt right what we should not consider in cost of goods sold transportation cost or any advertisement cost should not be considered as cost of goods sold all those cost which are directly related in making of those goods are considered as cost of goods sold because advertisement cost is not directly related to the shirt so we will not consider it as cost of goods sold but button thread labor electricity all are directly related to shirt so we add all these in the cost of shirt right so this all will be considered as cost of goods sold please like comment and subscribe thank you